finally back. Oh my goodness. Finally back. I got completely locked out of my Instagram and it wouldn't let me like comment or do anything. So I couldn't even tell you guys that I couldn't come live. What was that, Friday? I think it was Friday. What a bummer, but we're back. My account is back, hallelujah. Um, I have no idea what happened, but I'm pretty sure there was just like a robotic error. You know how, how Facebook has all these AI and robots that run everything now? I'm pretty sure they just falsely locked my account because I, I um, contacted them or you know, you can appeal it so they can re review it. And they reviewed it and said there's nothing wrong with my account. So like they're robots or whatever. Their AI must have just like flagged my account for no reason. It's so weird. But hopefully you got the notification that I went live on Instagram Friday or whatever day that was. Because I still went live. I just couldn't go live on my Facebook, which really sucked. So um, I just put on the Firming Wrinkle Repair and the um, Age Defining night resurfacing serum. I mix those two together and now I'm gonna put on the caffeinated eye cream. But, I don't know, hopefully you, did you come on? Did you guys come on on um, Friday? Cause I got all my other makeup stuff in the mail. So I did an unboxing. Uh, I did have a good weekend. Celebrated my sister's bachelorette party this weekend, so that was fun. Went out to eat and my face broke out immediately. Look at my chin. And I didn't even eat anything bad. I had, I ordered steak, potatoes, or like a baked potato and a salad. That's literally what I ordered and that's my face. Mm. I just, but I, then again, I don't know what they cook the steak in, so... Something they cooked it in, my face did not like. Hi, Kim. No, I didn't go on Friday because I didn't get any notifications. Okay, yeah, I sent out a notification on my Discord chat and on my Instagram chat. But I couldn't post anything on Facebook because I was locked out of Facebook. So, that's the only bummer if you don't have Instagram. Just because if my Facebook goes down or if my Instagram goes down, I can at least let you know on the other one. But I can show you some of the stuff I got today anyways. Um, so I got some skincare, which is in the other room. I got the cleanser, which I've tried three times now. It works really, really good. And then I got, what else did I get? Um, some skincare. I got this right here. It's called Liquid Repair Oil. It smells so good. Um, it says it helps... Um, even out dull skin, hydrates your skin. Uh, and this has essential oils in it. It has moisturizing lupids. It has exotic plant oils, um, azoline, nourishing vitamins, like, vitamins like A, C, D, and E. And you can put this on in the morning and at night. I tried on Friday, I tried putting this on before makeup. I don't like it with makeup. So if you're gonna put this, if you do get this, um, put it on in the morning like a while before you put makeup on or put it on at night, but I really like it. It smells so fresh. The cleanser smells like fresh orange, it smells amazing. And then I got this lip plumping gloss. It smells just like cinnamon. It's a coral color. I'm not sure if I'm a huge fan of this color. Like, I don't know how it looks with my skin tone. Maybe it was just the look I did on Friday, but I didn't really like it with the lip combo I did, so. But I like the lip plumper, but I think I'm going to get a different color, like maybe a pink or something. Um, I got this Hush lipstick, which is absolutely gorgeous. We're going to use this today probably again. It's like the perfect mauve nude. It's a little bit lighter than the mauve nudes that I use, but it's so pretty. This is called Hush. I love the packaging. Look at the packaging. It's just very clean. Matte black with gold. We love that. Um, no, I'm just an affiliate for uh, another makeup company. But I'm still affiliate with Unique. I still love my Unique makeup. Um, but I ordered some of their makeup products because I've tried their skincare, but I have not tried their makeup. So I just started testing out their makeup. This is a contour stick from them. 
this contour stick is great. I think I'll get a darker color. I think since I'm tanner right now, I could use a darker color. Um, then I got this blush. This blush is gorgeous. This blush is to die for. It's so pretty. It's called Peony. Peony. Um, all these are refillable, which is really cool. So you don't have to keep getting new packages. Um, it's magnetic. Love that. But this blush is so pretty. And then I got this luminizing, like this chrome luminizer. This is all right. This is okay. Um, maybe I just need a different color. This has like a pinky tint to it. It's not super luminizing though. I wish it was a little more luminizing. It looks, I guess it's more, it looks more natural for a luminizer. So if you like really natural, you'd like this. Uh, tried out their setting powder. Amazing. The setting powder is really good. The stuff is amazing. Doesn't smell like anything. Love that. And then the, this is the stick foundation. The stick foundation is really good too. The stick foundation is really good too. I got this color called Alluring. Um, but we're not going to wear this today because it's very hot out today and you don't want to wear creams on hot days. It's, you'll feel like your face is melting. So we're not going to wear that today. Oh, and I got their concealer. The concealer is really good. I really like the concealer. Um, the tanning drops. I tried the tanning drops yesterday or the day before. Tanning drops work amazing. They're actually on sale right now too. So I think I did, I did seven drops with their moisturizer and it turned out perfectly. Like my face actually matches my body much better now. I think next time I'll do a little more drops cause I'm a much, my body's a lot tanner. So I could probably get away with doing like 10 or 12 drops, I think. And then it'll be like perfect. But the tanning drops work really, really good. They don't look like orangey or anything. It just gives you a really nice natural tan. So tanning drops for the win. Um, and that, I think, excuse me, I think that's all I got that I can think of. The cleanser and stuff's in the other room, but that's just like a little recap. We'll use some of the stuff today. I'm just not going to use the, the foundation or the concealer probably. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to wear today yet. I think I want to do BB cream with powder, but I'm almost debating doing all powder because it's so hot. It's just hot, humid, and sticky. Okay, let's see if I can even find my BB cream. Here's my BB cream. So, hi Ruth, I love the concealer. I have mature skin so it doesn't settle in my fine lines. A lot of people said that. A lot of people said, I don't really have a lot of fine lines under my eyes yet, but a lot of people said they really like this concealer um, because it doesn't crease. So, I like it because it's very light, like it's not very thick. Um, so I do like that a lot, which we could actually put some of that on today, but all right, we need Kabuki brush and we're doing BB cream in medium. I don't know if this is going to be too dark or if it's going to match or what, but we'll just do this to kind of blend it out. Hi, Tanya, what's popping? So today, supposedly they are going to, um, my insurance company is going to go, oh wow, that color matches perfect. My insurance company is going to go look at my car that is broke and see if they're going to cover it. So hopefully that all goes well today. Say a little prayer that everything works out. But they're going to take a look at it today. So hopefully they can approve that and get it fixed quickly. Because I feel like I haven't had my car in forever. My chest infection has finally gone. Yay! Oh my gosh, that's amazing. That kind of, I feel like that took a while, but sometimes your body just needs a while to heal. So I'm glad you're feeling better. That's so awesome. Wow, look at that. I'm going to have to keep using these tanning drops because then I can actually wear like the darker color in the BB, which I need to order more BB. I don't think I have a refill for medium. Do I have a refill for medium? Let's see, what's this one? What are these? These are BB creams because I re I've restocked on tons of them. This is dark. Why do I have dark? Do I have dark for contour? Why would I order two darks? That doesn't make sense. I would never get that dark tan. Medium! Oh, I do have a medium replacement. <gasps> Yay! Right, 
So I'm not gonna open this one yet though because it's crazy that this looks empty but there's still stuff coming out of it. So we will still use this until it's completely empty. But you really get your bang for your buck with this. Like it just never runs out of product. It's crazy. Took three weeks. Sounds about right. I feel like infections take a while. And it depends like on your immune system and stuff too. I feel like I have a pretty slow immune system. But feel free to share the video. Um, a lot of people have been telling me that Facebook is not showing my live videos to them. So if you want to support the channel, feel free to share the video so more people can find it. All right, yeah, we'll use some of this concealer today. Um, I got the color shade two. That's the color that I got in the concealer. So we'll do it right there because I'll probably put some of that on top. I'll just dab a little bit up there. But yeah, the concealer is very light and it blends out really easily and it's very thin. It's not a thick concealer. It kind of reminds me actually of the consistency of the BB cream, which I really love the BB cream. But it just blends out so nice, so smooth. I think we could go a little brighter. I'm gonna add a tiny bit more. I wanna be a little brighter, but not like too bright. There. My chest is compromised anyway because of long COVID. Oh gosh. Well, hopefully that all settles out. Hi Lisa, happy Monday. Did the drops come in any colors or does it, it's just one color. So the tanning drops come in one color and then the more drops you use, the tanner you'll get. So when you first try it out, you wanna start with like a smaller amount of drops and then you can kind of figure out after that, like after you use it a couple times, how many drops you'll need depending how tan you are. But I think I could get away with probably using 10 drops right now because I'm pretty tan. But you wanna test it out. But if you guys want a link to this, it's on sale right now. So it'd be a good, good time to grab it. You can do hashtag tan, hashtag tan. That is the, the keyword I have set up for this. So if you do hashtag tan, it will send you a link and you can get it on sale right now. Winning. All right, now we're gonna use, we're gonna use the setting. Actually, should I do contour? Do some contour. I think I'll just use bronzer for contour today because I don't really feel like doing any creams just because, like I said, it's so hot out. And generally, you don't want to use a lot of cream when it's hot. Um, what was I going to do? I was just going to do something. Oh, setting powder. Setting powder! Yeah, this setting powder is so good. And we don't, I think the only setting powder we have right now is the one with the primer in it. But it might be sold out already with Unique. So if you need a good setting powder, this one is awesome. I really like this setting powder. You'll see, I'll put it on, you'll be able to see it, how good it works. But yeah, those tanning drops work really good. You just put them on, you mix it with a tiny bit of moisturizer, you rub it all over your face, you bring it down your neck, and then you just let it sit on your face for a couple hours. I just put it on before bed. Um, and then a couple hours later, or when you wake up, you have tan skin. It's so nice. It's freaking so nice. The only problem is, is I forgot to wash my hands really good. You need to wash your hands really good after using the tanning drops because I missed a spot on my thumb. So we have a little orange spot on my thumb. But setting powder, the setting powder, the reason why I like it is because it's super refined, like super refined. It's very, very, very blended. It's very light. You know how some setting powders, they're like heavier or they're kind of chalky looking or they just like go on and look really powdery. This one is like so refined, like the little setting powder particles are so small. It's just awesome. Like you can't really even tell that you put it on, which is nice, especially if you have mature skin, because if you have mature skin, you don't want anything that looks powdery. And it just, I don't know, it's really good. 
I'm very impressed. So setting powder is definitely in one of my top new favorite products from this brand. Um, if you want a link to the setting powder, you can do hashtag BS. That one should be easy to remember. Hashtag BS. That's for the other brand, Beauty Society. BS stands for Beauty Society. But, yeah. Very nice. Actually, I'm going to set my whole face with this because it is so hot out today. We're just going to give my face a little light dusting with this. So yeah, setting powder for the win. Um, do you like this one better than Unique? <gasps> I actually do. Yeah, that's really surprising for me to say, but I do because it's, it's so, like I said, it's so refined. Like it's crazy how refined it is. And I've tried a lot of different setting powders. Like I have a lot of the the ones that all the beauty gurus hype up. Like I've tried the, I've tried the Fendi one. I've tried the Charlotte Tilbury one that everybody raves about. I did not like that one. It was very chalky. The, the one from Fendi, the one from Fendi, like it's, it's weird, like it doesn't like stick to your face very well. I don't know, I just didn't like that one either and it was really expensive. Um, the Unique one is really good, but it's not as refined as this one and that's why I like this one a little bit better. This one is just like so, I mean, you'll see it if you get it and then you put it on your face, you're gonna be like, wow, that's crazy. Like how do they get the particles that small? But it's just like, you can't even tell I put setting powder on which is amazing. So that would be very beneficial for those of you that have mature skin because it literally looks like you didn't put anything on. Uh, okay, this blush color though, oh my goodness, it's so pretty. Okay, and this is called Peony Pink. Um, we are going to, I think this is actually called a color, it's called a face stick. Um, so I think a face stick means you can use it on your eyes as well. But this blush is gorgeous. I don't know. It's like the perfect pink. Why don't you just want to wipe it on your face? Um, because we just put setting powder on my face and I don't want to disturb the setting powder I just put down. But you could like wipe it on your face and blend it out first. But I'm going to do this because I put setting. You know what? I forgot to do bronzer. We got to do bronzer first. But this is the blush color. Isn't it pretty? It's very light which is nice. It looks very natural, which is maybe why I like it so much. Maybe I like it because it looks so natural. It's just very, very pretty, very flattering. What do you guys think of the blush? I think it looks super natural and just, I don't know. I really like it. The look I did Friday, I really like. And I did, I used like all the contour and all that stuff too. So I think, I'm pretty sure this Beauty Society brand has a tinted moisturizer too. I have to look, but I haven't tried it. I haven't tried it. So I don't know if it could top the Unique one because I'm pretty obsessed with the Unique one, but I'm kind of curious to try it because I do really like tinted moisturizers. To me, I mean, I haven't tried it, but to me it looks like it doesn't have as much coverage as the Unique one, which might be nice for like a more natural look. Um, with the sound, yeah, is anybody else having issues with the sound? Um, uh, okay, where is our bronzer? All right, we're gonna use light bronzer. I don't know where my medium bronzer is. Our light bronzer. The unique bronzers are on sale right now, 50% off. So if you need some bronzer, you can grab I think this color, the light color that I'm using right now, and then two of the darker shades are left. Um, but once they're gone, they're gone. So if you need to restock on bronzer or there's some blush colors and some other stuff that's 50% off, you can do hashtag beauty and it'll send you a link to the website. And then you just click on the tab that says last minute deals. And that's where all the 50% off goodies are. So, I mean, there might be some of your favorite products in there to get on sale. That sale goes until the end of the month, I think, or until supplies last, but. 
Sounds fine on your end. Oh, good deal. Hello. Hi, Lori. Hi, Lori. What's popping? Oh, I got some new. You're supposed to say golly, but I say golly because golly sounds better. So I'm not pronouncing it right, apparently. But I got some new golly gummies today, too, and we're going to try it. It's the matcha. It's the Matcha Mind Cognitive Gummies. So these ones are really good for your brain. They're good for your memory. They're good for focus and attention. They have matcha in them. So matcha is really high in antioxidants, which is why it's beneficial for your brain. And it has something else in it, which I didn't really look into. I forgot what it is. But I think it's like a special blend that's good for your brain. So we're going to try one of those today. See how we like it. I'm only gonna try one because I'm gonna take my ashwagandha gummies. My ashwagandha gummies, but bam. Um, I'm gonna do a little more bronzer right there and then blend this out. Yeah, wait, I this blush color with that lip combo is very pretty. Oh, and I got two new lip liners too. I got this lip liner and th this one. I have not tried the date night one, but I, I've tried the day job one and I really liked it. So, probably be testing those out again today. But these are the new cognitive gummies. Let's do a first impressions. I'm curious to see how these taste because matcha has a very distinctive taste that I feel like would be hard to cover up, just like greens and anything that's really green like that. Let's test it out. This would be very beneficial for me if it helps with, with focus because I have such bad ADHD that I have a hard time sitting still and focusing. They smell really good. They smell very sweet. They smell like really sweet. Um, take three gummies once a day. I'm only gonna take one right now, but it says to take three. That's what they look like. They look kind of like a green apple color. Mmm. It's good. It actually, it tastes like a little bit like green tea with sweet tea. Green tea with sweet tea. It's not as sweet as I thought it was going to be. Like when you smell the bottle, you're like, oh my gosh, that's really sweet. It's not nearly as sweet as I thought it was going to be. Mm. I like the flavor of these a lot. Now I want to compare it to my ashwagandha. My ash, the ashwagandha gummies are my favorite. As far as flavor. I don't know though. I really like that flavor. Um, but these, you know, if you have a sweet tooth... Because these, these are gummies, so they do have a little bit of sugar in them. But if you have a sweet tooth, this would be a good replacement instead of eating a treat. Because they're good for you. So that's kind of been my thing. That's usually what I do. Is after I'm done eating uh, my lunch or breakfast or whatever, I'll have some golly gummies. And um, it also helps you die. It helps you like absorb the nutrients better because your body's already digesting food. But the ashwagandha ones are really good for your adrenal health. They're really good for stress. They're really good for focusing and the mind. And it's kind of similar to those other ones, actually. But it's mostly really good for stress. Like if you feel like you get stressed out a lot lately, it's probably because of your adrenals. Your adrenals are probably a little um, fatigued. My adrenals are very fatigued. So that's kind of why I've been taking my ashwagandhas again. How much are, I don't even remember. I think you're supposed to take two of these. Yeah, two of these twice a day. Mm, these ones actually taste sweeter. Um, also, um, I love the flavor of these. Um, sugar. This says total sugar is four grams. I think that's for two gummies. This one says... Three gummies has six grams of sugar. Oh, I don't know. I don't know which one I like better. 
Mm. Yeah, these are so good. They're so good. These are actually, these ones are from Beauty Society. These ones are also for your memory and focus. How ironic that I have all the memory and focus gummies all right here. Now I feel like I need to try. I don't know if you should probably mix all these together, but I am. These are small. Two gummies has three grams of sugar, so they all have around the same amount of sugar in them. Mm. The flavor is not as good in these. The gummy, the golly ones taste better. These are still really good though. But I like the golly ones. I like the golly flavor better. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. The only problem with these is, is that it's really hard to stop eating them. So try not to eat the whole bottle because they're really good. But I'm going to have... Do I want one more of these? I love, I love green tea. It's just, I can't drink green tea. Cause green tea, I can't drink a lot of it cause it has a lot of caffeine in it. So I have to be careful with green tea and matcha, but I love it. So good. Mm. Yeah, so my, my rating on this one out of 10, I would give it a 10. It tastes like a, Green tea with a little bit of sweet tea. That's what it tastes like. I really like the flavor. These are 10. I love these. Ashwagandha is my favorite. If you guys want to check out the gummies, you can do hashtag golly. G-O-L-I. They have tons of different ones for different things. They have apple cider vinegar ones for weight control. They also help you digest your food. Um, they have ones for sleep. They have ones for stress. They have ones for focus. They have all kinds of different ones. So if you're not like a huge fan of swallowing stuff, they have gummies. And if you have a sweet tooth, it would be kind of like a healthy treat basically. So, but the ashwagandhas for me are like a must have. And honestly, I think anybody would benefit from the ashwagandha ones just because they help with your memory, your focus. They help with your adrenal glands, which... If you are a person on here that has no stress in your life, I'm jealous, but I would say most of us, 99% of us have stress. So those would be good for your adrenal glands. Uh, happy Monday, Stacy. I tried using the powder by itself instead of the foundation with primer and setting spray and it looked amazing for the first couple hours. Then it looked like it was melting off my face. Um, I love the easiness of unique powder, but but by itself before work. Um, I tried, I tried using the powder by itself instead of foundation with primer and setting spray. First couple hours and then it looked like it was melting off my face. So that could be just like your oils coming through your skin that's causing that. So what you could do is reset it, especially if it's happening later in the day. Your face is probably sweating. There's probably a lot of oils coming through your skin. I mean, eventually when it's really hot like that, your face will start to feel like it's melting. <laughs> it's just going to happen eventually, especially when it's really hot out. Um, but you can reset it with a powder, which will help. Um, but you pretty much did everything right. Otherwise, you could also try using a little bit of a setting spray to help it stay on better too. But usually like by the end of the day too, like when it's really hot out, or if I'm like really out in the sun a lot, my face is just like sweating. Uh, there we go. A little more blush, absolutely perfect. Am I doing anything for my birthday? No, um, it's on Sunday. Uh, I went shopping for my birthday in Chicago last week and that's when my car broke down. Uh, but I didn't really plan on doing anything else to be honest. <laughs> What should I do? Do you guys have any suggestions that I should do for my birthday? It's on Sunday, so. What shall we do for birthday fun? Uh, okay, eyeshadow. What eyeshadow should we do today? Oh, we should do the, I'll show you this Luminizer. The one that I said I, I'm not a huge fan of, but I still like it. It's not as bright as the unique one. It looks more natural. 
it's like a very natural luminizer. So if you don't like tons of glow, this is way more natural. See it? Oh, this actually looks a lot better than the last time I put it on. Last time I feel like I could barely see it. I can actually see it today. This one has a pink tint to it, which is really pretty. I don't think I have, the only ones I have have a gold tint. Yours is on Tuesday, happy birthday. We share a birthday, <gasps> happy birthday, Tammy. Happy early birthday. Oh my gosh, all these birthdays coming up. How exciting, happy birthday to your son on Thursday. Okay, I actually, I take it back. I do like it, now you can actually see it. I don't know what I was doing on. Maybe because my light, it was so dark though and you couldn't really see it. You can actually see it now. That's pretty. I like it because I like enough I like enough glow where you can actually see it, you know what I mean? Uh, tequila sunrise eyeshadow looks amazing with your shirt. What tequila sunrise eyeshadow is that? Where is that from? So your cancer cancers are kind of gentle people? Uh, for sure. I'm definitely fit into the category of avoiding avoiding conflict. <laughs> I'm the type of person that generally likes to get along with everybody and I'm very laid back and chill and I avoid conflict. But I also don't like go out of my way to hang out with people. Like I'm kind of a a homebody. I like to be by myself most of the time. I also get very attached to people. For those of you other people that share birthdays, I, I don't know if you can relate to any of this stuff, but I feel like I get attached to people really easily and then I get heartbroken really easily. Like when people just like kind of use and abuse my friendship, like I get heartbroken very easily. And then when that happens, I start to distance myself and then I just don't hang out with people. Same here, hate conflict. Yeah, I do not like conflict. I avoid conflict at all costs. But I am not I'm not afraid to speak my mind. I will say that. Like I have gotten much better and I'm not afraid to speak my mind. Like I'm very um I'm very stable in my morals and what I believe in, so I'm not afraid to like speak up if I need to. But generally, I avoid conflict. All right, we're going to use this brow stick pencil thing. Ta-da! Bam! Yeah, I don't really go by the zodiac sign stuff, but it is interesting to read it. Cause I definitely feel like I relate to a lot of like the stuff they say based on the personality, but I don't really go by those zodiac things. Bam, look at that. Brows on fleek. All right, so you're saying we should do orange, yellow, and pink. I think that's what we were supposed to be doing today. Orange, yellow, and pink. We could definitely do that. I'm down for it. So we need these brushes and we need the fluffy crease brush. it. I gotta clean it. It's like gray. Um, okay. Uh, what brow stick is that? It's by NYX. It's called, yeah, it's called Lift and Snatch. Lift and Snatch Brow Pen from NYX. Hi, Danny. What's poppin'? I'm a homebody and pretty much stick to myself also. Love being home. Yep. 
I love to be by myself most of the time. Most of the time, although I do very much, I'm a very big like fam, like I really um, am a big family person too. I enjoy spending time with family. But for the most part, like I'm very good by myself. I like being by myself. I get, I just get like very mentally drained being around people for too long. So I like just not having to do that. I don't know. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I don't know. My husband is like the opposite, I feel like. Like he can be around people all day and he feels fine. Uh, if I'm around people all day, I'm just exhausted and I want to go home or go somewhere by myself and just like recharge. All right. We're doing Tequila Sunrise, which is going to be orange, yellow, and pink. So I think I'm going to do orange. I'm, gonna, I'm trying to figure out the best order to do this in. Do we do orange, pink, and yellow? Or do we do pink, orange, and yellow? I think I should do orange, pink, because I think the orange is darker than the pink. And you always want to do the darker color in the crease. Same, you too. Yeah, I need to like recharge my battery. The birds are outside today. They've kind of been on and off squawking. Kiko is just, I always forget that Kiko, like he's such a cuddly bird, but if I give him too much attention, he gets super attached to me and then he just cries all day long unless I pick him up. So he's, I have to remember not to give him too much attention because he gets too attached. And yeah, my dad hangs out with us since my mom is gone. All I have two daughters who still have me, so I'm not totally alone. Well, that's wonderful. Yeah, so the birdies are enjoying the weather outside today. It's hot, but they're in the shade, so. And they're tropical birds, so generally they really like warmer climates. They're much they're much happier sitting out there than being in the house. Which is kind of a bummer because in winter time then they have to be in the house all the time. But for summertime it's really nice. They like it. Alright there's the orange. This is from Palette 8. This is 50% off right now. So if you want to link to this do hashtag beauty and then type in eyeshadows and it'll pop up, but it's 50% off right now. 50% off. And then we're going to use the pink from Berry Bouquet because it matches. And this will be our pink color. Our pretty pink. And then we'll do yellow. I'm socialized out from my son's birthday party yesterday. You're all socialized out from, oh, I can imagine. Birthday parties and like events like that are so, they're so fun, but then at the end of the day, you feel so drained. You're just like, ugh. Yeah. We had like um, this weekend, we had my sister's bachelor bachelorette party and um i'm gonna do this yellow now this lighter color and that pottery place we went to was so busy there was so many people in there by the end of the day i was like done i was ready to go home i was like yep i am totally like socialized out now i just need to go home and just chill um so we were supposed to do a bike tour and it got canceled. So they decided to go to the bar and meet up with the boys. And I went there for a little bit and then I was like, yeah, I'm going to go home. I'm like ready to not, I just need to go chill out now. I'm just over it. My wedding day was a lot. Like the wedding, when I had my wedding, oh my gosh, I couldn't wait for the day to be over. <laughs> I was so ready for the day to be over no it's up in door county the pottery place is in door county i'm just doing a little bit of this um velour 
pressed powder just to brighten. But here's our tequila sunrise. Look at this. How pretty is that? What color should we do underneath? I'm thinking maybe the pink and the yellow. Let's do a little bit of that pink and yellow underneath. But yeah, it was so busy because it decided to rain all day. So everybody that was going to be outside ended up being inside buildings. So it was just like, just packed full everywhere. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. All right, now I'm gonna do a little bit of yellow just to kind of match the top there. And there's our tequila sunrise. That actually was such a good idea to do with um, the pink. This tank top, y'all, I found this tank top at Target. It's a crop top. Can I zoom out? This is a crop top. I don't really like that it like dips in like this because it, like your bra hangs out. There's not really a good way to wear a bra with this. And I'm not gonna go braless because it's see-through slightly. Um, but this, this tank top, they had like three different colors. They had yellow, pink, and like this um, emerald green. They were on clearance for like three bucks. These shirts were like $3 at Target. I was like, yes, because they're all my color too. All these colors look good on me. So I bought like double of the everything. I was like, I'm buying all of them. So nice. So glad Target has some clothing that actually fits, fits me. Like this is an extra small. And they had like extra, extra small too, which is nice. But, I'm debating if we should do a white liner in the waterline or should we leave it? What do you think? Should we do white liner or just leave it? I need my lash curler. I found it. I was like, where did it go? Um, what about a cross back bra? I don't even think I have a cross back bra though. But I have, I do have something that makes it a cross back. Like I have a little thing that'll make your straps go like this. So I could put that on and then, and then the only problem is it's still, you can still see this. Like technically I probably could have got away with going one size bigger in this shirt, but they didn't have one size bigger. This is the only size they had. But I do have a little cross thing that I could put in the back. Danny, the pottery place is in uh, Fish Creek or whatever it's called, Door County. Um, but I'm sure there's pottery places all over Wisconsin. A razor back bra? I don't even think I have a razor back bra either. A bandeau? Bandeaus are the bras that go straight across, right? Is that a ba bandeau? Well, I forgot I already have mascara on, so who knows how well this will thing. We had so much flooding down in Iowa. No way! We had um, we had a lot of rain, but no flooding. Okay, bandeau bras. I do not own a bandeau bra because I think they're so ugly. Okay, don't hate on me if you like bandeau bras, but I just think they make your boobs look so weird. They like smush your boobs and make them look saggy. Like I don't think that's flattering, so I refuse to wear a bandeau bra. I refuse. <laughs> I don't know. I've seen bandeau bras on multiple people with different size boobs, and I just do not think they look good. They, like, smush your boobs. And there's no, like, there's no lift or anything. They just make them look so weird. That's why I don't have any, like, swimsuits that do that either. Like, this, the strapless swimsuits, like, they just make your boobies look so weird. I don't like that. Last my off they give you at a uni boob. Yeah, they give you a uni boob. They don't look good. I don't know. I just, mm -mm. I don't like the look of flattened, flattened out titties. It's just not, not the way to go. Um, well, the only thing about you wearing a nipple sticker with this is you can see through it. So you would see the nipple sticker. So I just rather wear a bra and say, screw it, whatever. My bra shows, who cares? 
right? That used to be the trend back in the day. Remember, like in the 90s, we would wear like layered shirts and you would have like five different straps up here. We'll just bring back the trend. <laughs> Except it'll be bra strap. <laughs> oh, yeah. The bandeau thing, bandeau, whatever you want to call it, is not for me though. Even like just strapless bras, I despise. Like I have to wear them for certain things but I still despise strapless bras. They're so uncomfortable, they don't stay up, and they're always like falling down, so that just makes your boobs look like really saggy. It's just, no, there's just, it's not a good look. Um, a lot of people are on top of buildings. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of flooding. That is crazy. Yeah, we had like rain here for a couple days straight. But then it stopped, but it wasn't like anything. Oh, actually, actually Saturday was pouring really good, but we didn't have any flooding, at least that I'm aware of. I don't wish straps was a surprise either. Forget it, then things keep falling down. Uh, oh, straps, I know straps are annoying too because they fall down. Love my watch band. Thank you. This is a new one. I, I'll show you up close. It's really pretty. It's a Tiffany blue color. Um, I actually have this band, a different one, but it, the snap on it broke. So this is a this is my replacement, my new one. But I'm pretty sure this is one of their bands for um, Fourth of July. I'm gonna check quick to see, cause I'm pretty sure it's on the website now, but I'm pretty sure it's a 4th of July band, but it's it's suede. So it's like that really nice soft fuzzy leather. And then it has snake print in it, which is super cool. And then it has Tiffany blue Swarovski crystals too. It's just stunning, absolutely stunning. I'm gonna type in I'm gonna look up the name of it so you can find it because sometimes when you try to find bands, there's just so many of them. Let me go. This website's addicting. Every time I go on here, I want, I'm like, ooh, I want that one and I want this one and I want that one. Well, I don't see it like right here, but it has to be. 4th of July sale. See, they have a 4th of July sale on bands right now, and it goes until the 24th to the 28th. So if you wanted to get a sparkle band, there's some on sale right now. You can do hashtag bands, by the way. Hashtag bands. And it'll show you all the 4th of July bands that are on sale. There's some really pretty ones in here. It's a lot. We might have to snatch some. There's some Gracie bands in there too. If you like the little Gracie bands, there's some Gracie bands in the 4th of July sale items. Ooh, there's a really, oh, I've sold out. I was like, there's a really pretty Gucci one. I don't know. This is on the website somewhere, but I'll show you up close. It's really pretty. So beautiful. Also, I'm gonna be selling some of my older sparkle bands. So if you want a good deal on sparkle bands, I'll probably be posting that on my website pretty soon here. But isn't this pretty? It's like snake print. Snake print, but then it's soft leather. It's like the suede and it's a beautiful Tiffany blue color. And then it's got really pretty turquoise. It's kind of like turquoise and purple Swarovski crystals in here. So pretty. The blue color is just so vibrant, it's just gorgeous. Isn't that gorgeous? It's just gorgeous. It's like such a pretty, it's like the perfect, I wonder if it is exactly Tiffany blue. Do I have a Tiffany blue box? I have a bag. I bet you this is identical. Let me look. Tiffany blue is like such a pretty blue. Let's see if it's the same color. Oh, it's so high. I don't know if I can reach. I reached, I actually should sell this. Um, look at that. 
almost the same color. I would say this is, I don't know, is it the same? It is pretty much the same color, isn't it? Maybe this is a tiny more green. I don't know. That's beautiful though. Matching. This is a perfume. I should sell this perfume. It's a little too strong for me, but it smells good. A Tiffany perfume. Would anybody be interested in buying this? It's brand new. I actually just kept it because I really like the box. <laughs> I like the box. It's so pretty. The box is just so pretty. It is their natural spray something. I don't know. I'm like super sensitive to perfumes though, so I can't have anything super smelly. So but yeah, I'll probably be putting this on my website too. But I just kept it because it's so pretty. It's kind of nice as the display piece. What does it smell like? Honestly, the best way I can describe it is it smells like a rich person. I don't know. It smells like something a rich person would wear. I don't know. It just smells rich. I don't know how else to describe it. It's kind of got like that. You know some women perfumes that have a little bit of a spicy scent to them? That's kind of what it smells like. Like it's got a little bit of a spicy, spicy smell to it. I'm trying to think how, how I could um, describe it, but I don't really know how else to describe it. It just smells like something a rich person would wear. Or like if you walked into a store that's really expensive, that's what it smells like. <laughs> it just smells like, I can't afford this perfume. That's what it smells like. Um, it just smells, yeah, like you're rich. The, that's kind of how the Louis Vuitton perfumes are though. They're like, they smell like that. They just have like this distinctive, it's not citrusy. It's not like a sweet. It's kind of like spicy. Spicy, spicy rich person. Yeah, that's what it like smells like. It's just, it smells like you have a lot of money. <laughs> you know how they say to like talk out loud like, oh, I'm, I'm happy, I'm wealthy. Maybe you need a perfume that makes you feel like that too. I don't know. That's what it, it smells like though. It smells like you rich. Like I walked past some rich people and I've been in areas like, you know, like certain um, shopping places where they have all the really rich um, stores. Like, uh, well, Louis Vuitton's like kind of, kind of rich, but not quite. Well, yeah, I guess it is. Louis Vuitton, Gucci, Hermes. Like if you were in a mall that only had those stores, that's a perfume that people would wear because that's what it smells like. It smells like, I don't know, rich. That definitely not for me. <laughs> yeah, it's, it gives me like old money vibes, like somebody who owns like an oil rig or something and their wife is like, has a credit card with $500,000 spending limit on, on it or something, I don't know. It smells rich. Uh, me, like perfume wise, I really barely, rarely ever wear perfume because I'm so sensitive to smelly stuff. So I like very rarely ever wear perfume. If I wear perfume, it's very light. It's like you can barely smell it because I can't do anything that's too smelly, unfortunately. All right. I'm gonna show you this lip color though. This lip color is so pretty. So this is a new lip liner. This is from my uh, Beauty Society link. But um, I missed the perfume. What is it? It's a Tiffany and Co perfume. I don't know which one it is though. Your scent is deodorant. <laughs> uh, you love perfume? Yeah, I love perfume, but it, perfume does not love me unfortunately day job okay i'm gonna use this one again because i really liked it so this is a it's kind of a mauve color but it has a slight orange tint to it but it's really pretty with that lipstick so these are two new products you haven't seen me use yet if you didn't watch my instagram live already where's my mirror i just saw it where did it go oh it's right here okay so this is called day job our day job same plus the majority of them are hormone disruptors. Well, all perfume is hormone disruptor though. 
All of them are. Love your no yellow nails. Thank you. Rocking my pretty nails. I can hear Monkey. He's crying again. He's crying for me. Isn't this lip liner pretty though? It's kind of similar to the world color that I use all the time, but it's has like more of a, I don't know, orangey tint, not as much as a pink tint. It's more neutral, I guess you could say. But this one with the lipstick and then a little concealer is very pretty. But I think I like that combo so much that I did the other day because this lip liner looks really good with that peony pink blush color. Because it has the similar, this lip liner literally looks like this but darker. So it's like a twin, twinsy. Yesterday was my birthday. Happy belated birthday. You had the worst day ever. What happened? Right. So I fade the corners a little bit. Oh, you know what's really cool too? Is their lip liners have a pencil sharpener on the end. See the pencil sharpener? So you don't have to buy one. It literally comes with it on it. You just so easy. I thought that was genius. I would have never thought of that. Okay, here's the lipstick. I didn't order any of the other lipsticks because they're darker colors and I don't really wear darker lipsticks very often. So this is the only lipstick I ordered from them, but it's so pretty. So this is called Hush and it's just a light pink. It's so nice out today. A little hot though. I have a five-year-old and I'm unwell. Oh no. Sounds like you need a beach day. Your older half are not seeing eye to eye. Oh, that always kills the mood. You know what I do when I'm having a bad day? This could be good advice or bad advice. I go shopping. Retail therapy is what I do when I am just not, when I'm going through something emotional, I just go shop. I just go spend money. It makes me feel better, I don't know. I don't know if anybody else does that, but that's what I do. Uh, Two Rivers has a good beach. See, now you take a little bit of that concealer that we use under the eyes and you just ombre the lips and it looks friggin' perfect. Um, I'm trying to see once here. I thought I missed somebody's comment, but maybe I didn't. Me too, go shopping. Yeah, I swear, shopping just, even if it's online shopping, like if you don't feel like leaving your house, even online sh shopping does the trick too. But I feel like it's funner if you go in person. So that was what I do. I go shopping. When I have a bad day, shopping it is. Even if I don't buy anything, if I just go walk around, I just feel better. I don't know. But yeah, this is the this is the lip combo I did Friday and I really liked it. But then I put the lip gloss on top of it and I didn't like it anymore and probably because it covers up the ombre. So I feel like this would be good by itself, but not on top of this color. But isn't this lip combo so pretty? It's kind of like the other lip combos I usually do, but it's not as pink. So now we're gonna add more blush. Make that blush pop. This is really pretty on the eyes too. I wore this on the eyes the other day, it's gorgeous. This is probably one of my favorite products from them so far, is this and the setting powder as far as makeup goes. I haven't tried the stick foundation enough to give it a full review, but I've tried this like three times and I've tried the setting powder like three times. 
I'm really good at adding to cart and signing up for discounts I'll never use. <laughs> oh no! Abandoned cart. I would say I am not good at that. I'm quite an impulsive buyer. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely, I'm definitely an impulsive buyer. Like if I see something, I just buy it. And then if for some reason, like later, if I don't like it, I'll return it. But it's very rare I ever return things because I just, I don't like going back to the store. Um, yes, if you want a link to, it depends what makeup you want a link to. So if you like the lip combo or you like the setting powder or the blush or the luminizer, you can do hashtag BS. Hashtag BS for those. Those are the new products. Um, that's also where the skincare is from. And the eye cream, caffeinated eye cream. This is really good if you have puffy under eyes or dark under eye circles. Uh, and that's where the tanning drops are from. So hashtag BS. Um, and then the other makeup. So like this palette is 50% off. The bronzer is 50% off. BB cream and stuff that I use. Those are from my other website. So you can do hashtag beauty. Hashtag beauty for those. So hashtag BS and hashtag beauty are do both of them. And you'll get links for both. But if I had to give you some must-haves for the new products, definitely this lip liner and the Hush lipstick. Day job lip liner, Hush lipstick, peony pink blush. So pretty. There's also a color match quiz you can do on their website. Like you'll see a thing that says quiz. Um, you can take a quiz for a color match if you want to try the foundation. Uh, as far as skincare, if you guys comment hashtag quiz, it'll send you the skincare quiz and it tells you exactly what to get. But that's how I ended up getting this stuff is because I took the quiz and this is what it said I needed. So this is what I've been using and I really like it. So that makes it so much easier if you just take a quiz, answer a couple questions and it tells you, yeah, this is what your skin needs. So much easier. It kind of gets overwhelming when there's so many products and then you don't know like what's good for your face. So that just makes it easier. But let's do lashes. Lashes. I found some lashes in my drawer. I'm pretty sure these are pretty lashes. But I don't. I'm pretty sure these are pretty lashes. They look like pretty lashes. So we're going to wear pretty lashes today. But I need to trim these because they are not cut. So I'll show you how I cut them. Because when you get your magnetic lashes in the mail, you want to trim them. If you don't trim them, they will not fit very well and then they will be very uncomfortable and hard to put on. So first you need a little slippers, which there it is. I, oh, what did I drop? I just bought this clippers specifically for trimming eyelashes because you don't want to use your regular toenail clippers on your eyelashes. Okay. We don't need no toenail bacteria getting in your eyes. So I just bought a separate clippers for this because it's easier to cut the lashes with this versus like a scissors. It's kind of hard to cut with the scissors. So first things you're going to do is you're going to take your lash out of the case and then see where your natural, make sure you put your mascara on first, but see where our natural lashes start. They start right here. That's where you want to start this lash. So you're going to put it right there and you're just going to kind of hold it down. Okay. Oh, you're just gonna hold it down and you'll be able to see how much you need to trim off. See how much is hanging off? So we're gonna trim that off. Just grab your little clippers and ba-bam! Trim that off and then you can hold this up to your eye and you'll see it's gonna fit way better now. See that? Like, it just fits the stretch in my eye. So then for the next lash, you literally just cut the same off. You don't need to measure this one. You just cut the same amount off. Ba-bing! And now your lashes are trimmed to fit your eyes. Now what you're going to do is grab your applicator. Um, you got the lashes down finally? Yay! I'm telling you, if you just practice with them every day, you'll get better and better and better. And then you probably will never, like if you're not a huge makeup wearer, you'll probably hardly wear your makeup, but you'll wear your lashes a lot. Because, I mean, you can throw lashes on and you look so much better. <laughs> Especially if you're like me and you just look like you're tired all the time. 
lashes just make a big difference. So on the days I don't go live and I don't do makeup, I literally just put lashes on and it's so much, it's so nice. All right, so now you take this, you let the, the magnet stick to the tweezers. See how there's a magnet on there? You're gonna pick it off and it's gonna be hard to see, but see how the lash hairs are going downward? We want them to go upward. So I'm gonna flip this upside down and pick it up with my tweezers, okay? like that. Now see how it's curling up? That's how you want. You want the magnet on the end. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take the inner part of the lash. You're going to hold it down to the corner here and just like get it there and then open your eyes up. So I'm going to go like this and it's just going to click in underneath your natural lashes. And then you're just going to do that all the way across. First, we're going to pick this up and then hold it down and then open wide. And I kind of rotate my eye depending, or my eye, I rotate my head depending where I'm clicking these magnets on. So actually, I might need to move this lash over a little bit more, but let's click it on first and see. All right. Bada bing, bada boo, bada boom, right? I think this lash definitely needs to be, go this way a little bit more because it's still like hanging off. These may. I think these are going to be too big for today, don't you think? I think these might be a little too dramatic. I think for a day look, they're going to cover up my eyeshadow too much. I want them to be a little more natural. What do you think? I think we need more natural. Lots of compliments, mostly because I actually pulled myself together, curled hair and makeup. Maybe I do need that spicy rich perfume. <laughs> You're funny. Yeah, I don't know. It feels good when you like put yourself together. Although it's it is a lot of work when you have kids to do all that. As my coworkers say, when she sees me put them on at work, it's like an instant eye brightener. It does. That's because lashes like help your eyes open up. It makes your eyes look more awake. So if you have like saggy eyes, or if you have hooded eyes, or if you just look tired a lot, lashes are just gonna. Like, look at how much bigger this eye just looks like. Hello. So it's just going to open up your eyes a lot. Too much? Yeah, I think so too. I think these are too much. So if you need to take them off, very easy. You just grab the lash and you're going to slide your thumb forward. And the little magnets will slide off one at a time. This is how you want to remove them. Because, I mean, you could like just rip them off, but then you're going to rip your eyelashes. So you don't want to do that. Oh, there it is. I'm like, where did it go? There's a little magnet. It's, it's more difficult if you have nails on. There, I just got both of them off. It's a lot more difficult if you have nails on, so just keep that in mind. But boom, then you just pull it off and it doesn't damage your natural lashes or anything. So that's kind of nice, or kind of nice. That's really nice about magnetic lashes. It is it's not going to mess up your natural ones. All right, I agree. I think we need something more natural. Let's do this lovely style and then maybe double stack because I think that's what I did last time. I did lovely, lovely and I double stacked with hottie and it was like perfect. If you need a link to the eyelashes, you can do hashtag lash. All right, we're gonna get our little magnet ready again. Like that make sure the magnets at the end and then you're gonna grab your lash this will this lash is trimmed already so we don't need to trim it but I'm just gonna get it right at the edge right there and open up my eye and boop see how it just clicks right on we'll show you again I'm gonna get it lined up there just angle it down and then just open up your eyes oh let me get it closer boop just like that you're gonna do it again. You're gonna grab this lash, hold it down, open up the eye. Oh, wrong side. Open up the eye. Oh, it keeps connecting to the wrong one. There we go. I might need to redo that one. Oh, it looks like it's still good. Okay. Continue. And then you just go all the way down the lash until they're all clicked on. This is the last one. Just open up the eyes and let that click on. Pull this down, see how it all looks. Looks really good. Ta-da! This, this doll looks way better. This is lovely. 
You didn't get anything for the face stuff? What uh, hashtag did you use? Otherwise, actually, you guys can go here too. If the hashtags aren't working, everything is linked here. So it should have just popped up on the video. There should be a link that just popped up there. Okay, so this is lovely. This is a really nice lash for those of you that don't want a really dramatic eyelash but still want a wing effect. These have a little bit of a wing. So, and they're not like super dramatic or anything, so they're gonna look more natural. Put those little magnets on. Boop, boop, boop. We need one more boop and then we're all booped out. One more little magnet. That one I gotta redo because that one was like not even on. And I let it go and then it was like not even close enough. So let's try that again. Boop. See that? I always go like this to see how nice and close it is. And then for me, like these are pretty, but they're like almost too natural. So I double stack with Hottie. The Hottie, Hottie Lash is a brown and black eyelash. So these, you just, they magnetically stick on top. You don't have to add any more magnets. And it'll just make the outside a little more dramatic. A little spicy, if you know what I'm saying. It'll give it that little extra accent on the outer edge. Bam! And our lashes are complete. Yeah, I think these look way better. I think those other ones were a little too much. They didn't look that much in the case, but then once we put them on, I was like, oh, this would look good for a night look, but not a day look. I've been drinking the turmeric and I am feeling amazing. Oh, that's so awesome, Lisa. Thank you for letting me know. Isn't it awesome? I always feel really good too when I drink the turmeric. It's very anti-inflammatory, so that's probably why you feel so good. Especially if you have inflammation going on in the body that you're not aware of. A lot of people do, and they don't understand why they don't feel good, and it's because their body is full of inflammation. I'm going to take a picture of your little review here. But I'm glad you like it. Thank you for letting me know that you tried it. If you guys want to try the anti-inflammatory blend, you can do hashtag why you, um, but it's really good. You just blend it up with water and a little bit of almond milk and you don't have to add any sweetener. You could put whipped cream on top if you want, but it's really, really good. Um, okay. I don't think we need to add anything else to this look. What do you think? Isn't this pretty though? Like this lip with the blush just is so pretty together. I don't know. I really like the, the lip combo and the blush combo. I just think it's very flattering. I don't know. Love it. Hi, Emily. What's poppin'? Brush this crazy hair out. There we go. What else? I don't think there is anything else. I have to show you today. Do I want to add more bronzer? I might add a little more bronzer. Maybe a smidgens. Just a tiny bit more. We'll do a little more light bronzer. Trying to just contour out this um, jaw a little bit more. Love how your hair, how long it is. Thank you. People always think I have hair extensions, but I literally just never cut my hair. Remember when I said I was gonna trim my hair? I still have not trimmed my hair. I said that like two weeks ago. I was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna trim my hair because it needs to be trimmed. Have I trimmed my hair? Absolutely not. not trim my hair it needs a trim but one day but that's the finished look if you need links for anything they're all linked down here otherwise i said the hashtags before um but if you want to check out the new lips and the blush and stuff like that the new skincare you can do hashtag bs if you want to check out the sales items with unique you can do hashtag beauty 
Lashes are hashtag lash. Um, golly, hashtag golly. Hashtag lavish for the earrings. Hashtag cross for the little cross necklace. And I think that's all. Hashtag YU if you want to check out the turmeric blend for anti-inflammatory stuff. But otherwise, everything's linked right here. So, But I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll see you later. I'll see you on Wednesday for our Wednesday makeup tutorial. So...